So once we have seen one of the one of the way we can use companion object, uh, the, the the another use of it is to achieve factory design pattern. Now, what is factory design pattern? If you are coming from software development project, maybe any project, maybe C sharp or maybe based on C sharp or Java. So somewhere we try to create a factory design pattern where, uh, if you want to create an object of a class, let's say if you have a class called as A, and if you want to create an object of this class, and maybe creation of this object is not that easy. Normally, in what we do is we say simply say var obj equal to A, right? So let's say the creation of this object for class A is not that easy the way you are doing here. Maybe you have to do something. Example, you have to pass some parameters. Maybe you have to first load some uh, load some connections and then you can do this. Maybe there are there is some complex logic behind building this object. And so you can type everything here. But then sometimes what happens, you know, when you create a library, when you create a, a class where a user don't have to do much to create an object. So you can reduce the work of a user by creating a factory method inside your class. So what will happen is, let's say if you want to call, or uh, what I'm saying, it should, it's not public, it's this function, uh, function show. Let's say if you have this function show and if I print something here, very simple thing, and if I print in show, nothing else. So to call this show, of course I want an object, right? And let's say creation of this object is not that easy. You have to pass some parameters, you have to uh, do some extra stuff. So what you can do is you can do all those things in a method and that method will be called as a factory method here. Example, let's say if I say this is this is a create method and this create method returns you the object of A and okay, so this method returns an object of A and we'll simply say, okay, we can also do it in, in line. So either we can, okay, we can, we can, we can do it in line as a function expression, we can say it will return the object of A. Again, you could have you could have returned the entire method where you will do some extra stuff and then you will create an object. Again, we don't want to do ex we don't want to add any complex code here. But just imagine if you want to create an object which is very difficult to make or it needs lots of parameters, lots of work to be done. So what you can do is you can create a method called as create and this create method will create an object for you. The problem is if I want to create an object now, of course I have to call this method create, right? But how can you create a how can you call a method create now? Because create itself is a method. So what we can do is we can put that in a companion object. So if I say companion object and if I put that create inside the companion object, what we can do is we can call the create method with the help of a dot create, right? So that's one of the use of companion object. We can achieve something called as a factory design pattern in in here. And let's let's try with let's try this now. If I say obj dot show, it should work, right? So we got the object, right? So we got the object which is fun create and a uh, okay. So this method create uh, returns a type of a, and we are returning the object of a, right? Again, uh, as I mentioned, there might be some difficult uh, thing you have to write. Then you have to open the curly brackets, close the curly brackets. You have to do, you have to do this do those things here. And yeah, so that's that's that feels good, right? Let's run this code. Let's see if it is if it is working. If I say run and run first check, let's I hope it will work. Oh, we got an error. Now error is because of the last class. I remember uh, we have worked with the runner runner.java before, which is your Java code. I forgot to remove the code from there. Uh, let's run this once again. Uh, if I say run first code kt and here we go. Can you see that we got the output as in show, right? So in this in show is getting printed because we are calling show. So let me repeat, we are creating, creating the object in the factory method itself, okay? We are not saying a bracket here. So we are using a factory design pattern here. And we can achieve that with the help of companion object. So that's it. That's it from uh, this video. We have, we have seen how to use companion object. And I hope you're enjoying this. So um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone.